Hello and welcome to Sim UK. Here you're going to find nothing less than genuine, unedited gameplay and fact-based, honest reviews. All that I ask from you in return is that you comment below what your thoughts are on the game and what you liked or what you think is missing from it. Hello guys, how you doing? Welcome, I'm Sim UK. This is Boat Crew and it comes from developers Tabbing Tabby and it's from the publishers Microprose Software. Now, if you know anything about me, you know I'm a massive fan of Microprose and they just seem to get behind the best developers, the kind of developers who share the same level of sort of respect and understanding and desire that I have for realistic, realistic simulation-esque gameplay. And this boat crew, which is in early access right now, is an excellent example of that. If you remember a game of old called Bomber Crew, it's got a similar kind of aiming system to that, but it's based on, um, what are they called, uh, PT boats in the, uh, in the Pacific War. And um, one thing is for absolute certain, this game is not easy, but it is a lot of fun. I'm gonna showcase it a little bit to you today. I'm gonna jump in and do uh, a new campaign and um, I'm going to try and show what the game is capable of. So you've got a crew of men and you have one boat. We've got a PT681 prototype. And um, what we need to do is we need to put the available reserves onto our ship. And um, some of these guys are going to die, sadly. So they've all got different uh, abilities. Now, I'm not sure what these mean. Uh, these icons here, uh, the, like I say, this is early access. There's some areas where I feel like maybe the game isn't that brilliant at explaining things to you. There are some things I still haven't figured out myself. I'm not quite sure how to use mortars, although I know there's just been a new update that improves the way you use mortars. So uh, there are some gaps in what I'm going to show you. But what I'm going to show you at least is how much fun this game is to play and how realistic the game is, despite being... Let's call it a simcade. It's got a lot of realism in it. So we've got some um, different abilities. So this T, or what looks like a T, is actually a hammer, which means this guy is good at repairs. So we'll slot him in. I'm not entirely sure what these abilities mean here. Um, maybe they tell you, maybe they reflect here. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure, but... Uh, We've got one repair guy, we've got two repair guys. I think actually that one plus bone means hardened. There you go. So he's a hardened sailor. He's been through much and has come out the other side a stronger man. So that's good. That's the kind of thing we want. Uh, we also, we've got what we've got one medic here, Archibald Hagerman, but he's actually only really good at um, sailing the ship in my humble opinion. So we don't really want him. What we want is someone who's good at being a medic. So I'm looking at the medic icon here. This guy's a bit slow. It's, are there any other medics? This guy, gentle, a graceful soul. The sailor takes care to be positive force on the boat. Sounds good to me. But he's a medic. And... Not to get it down, we're going to have to take Robert Wynn. Because he's also a medic. So we've got two medics. Uh, now we need some gunners, some people who are good at shooting, and I think that's what these icons mean. And glass skeleton, fragile bones, probably not best to be on the ship. He's a defeatist. Come on, there must be somebody. Right, this guy's good. Perfect. Um... Now, hang on, have I put him on... I put them on the wrong thing. So... Lieutenant Junior, we're going to put on gun reloads, and we're going to have... Repair guy as well. Okay, so there's my crew. And um, you can disband some people if you want to make some space, you can get rid of those that you really don't want. So these abilities here sort of um, create either very good sailors or very bad sailors based on their situation. So here's our boat. Uh, one thing you don't have to do, which I find quite confusing, is after a battle you don't have to repair the boat. 
and that's done for free which is a little surprising but what you do need to do is get your resources sorted out so at the moment we have um let's actually let's go back go back let's uh select our weapons so we'll go with the guns and we'll change the left turret gun we'll upgrade that let's see we got net budget 5200 I'm going to upgrade both of these guns. That's a significant upgrade to the boat. Um, we can't afford anything else, so we'll leave that be. I might try and put a mortar on the back and see if I can figure out how to use that today. Um, what does that leave us with in terms of cash for the crew? So allocated resources, central right, we're going to need some med kits. Uh, for some reason that's not showing me that, but you can see... These little white bags here, these are these are med kits. Um they're essential obviously for healing people when they're injured. And middle deck, I think we're gonna go for sixteen hundred repairs. Have I got enough for that? Just enough for that. Leaves me with three hundred. Right, so we've got repairs for the boat, we've got ammo for the guns, and we've got medical kits to heal the crew. Uh, let's go to crew loadout, so you can click on each one of these guys. So, uh, skipper here. You can sort of change their outfits and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm going to wear the captain's hat. Um, I don't know if they actually give you any benefits, do they? Armor value. They do, they give you armor value. That's pretty cool. Um, presumably we have to pay for these. No? There's no cost for this. So it seems, it makes sense that instead of wearing the captain's hat, you wear a helmet, but you know, I'm, I'm pretty hardcore. Uh, gives you a 20% armor ammo bonus and armor value. That uh, increases weight. So, okay. Um, let's rename this skipper and call him the UK. All right. So I could do that for the whole crew. Um, theoretically, I should. Gunner 1, select gear, vest, assault vest, armoured vest. There you go. This is 10% ammo bonus. Gunner 2. Armoured vest. I don't know why these are free. I'm guessing later on they won't be free. I'm not entirely sure. But, um, having lost my entire crew a couple of times now during my first play, it seems to make a lot, of, a lot of sense to try and at least give them some sort of protection. Can't click on the actual character. Oops. Select gear. That's fine. Go back. Best. Salt best. Should have been putting helmets on these guys, shouldn't I? He's doctor number one. This is doctor number two. Put binoculars on them as well. Okay. Last two guys. Black gear. Best. I think there's a quicker way this could be done, to be fair. But, um, we're getting it done. We're getting it done, so that's okay. We see the medics and the repairmen are the ones that are going to be sort of out there in no man's land a little bit more often so giving them a bit of protection seems like a bloody good idea you can also customize the uh, color of your ship red white and the blue blue there we go so it's pretty cool right 
I think it's awesome. Um, right. That's it. I'm happy. Confirm the loadout. And this will take you... There's like a um, campaign preview, version 1.1. 1 .1. Um, if we get rid of this, um, these are the... Um, oh my god, what are they called? The... Solomon Islands. These are the Solomon Islands. I don't think it's a one-for-one -one recreation of Solomon Islands, but uh, you can see each of these represent uh, a base. The blue ones are friendly bases that we are in control of, and we can go there and get resources and fix the boat and whatnot. And all the red ones are enemy-based. So um, let's begin by trying to take uh, Savo. I'm going to sail my boat across the Savo. Up in the top right hand corner you've got a radar. So this will allow me to listen out for any radar that's in this vicinity. They'll be able to detect that though, so I don't want them to know that I'm coming, so I'll turn it off. That gives me fairly decent confidence that I'm not going to run into anything nasty on the way and hopefully catch them by surprise and attack the island and take it out. That way we'll be able to link up to Lagi and Lunga and um, increase our strength of base. That's the idea. 31 knots and cloudy, so um, visibility is probably going to be low. See this is our fuel intake on the bottom right. You can see all our current resources bottom left. And uh, here we go. Let's engage. So we're going to base raid against light based defences on this island. We press space. I see some guys. You press space to go into attack mode. And then you line this up and you aim at the uh, enemy locations. You've got speed control with WASD and you'll see that there's a the ability to change speed as you see fit. We've got binoculars so we can like zoom in, get a good idea of what's coming. I can see some enemy locations, some watchtowers there. Watchtowers are not a problem but I can see some machine gun emplacements there so I'm going to try and catch them out. As soon as uh, we highlight these the team will start shooting at them automatically. Um, go, move one. That's my job. Keep the boat. Good work in order. There you go, they barely touch us which is good. The enemy there. Taking a few hits, but nothing too serious. I don't there's any more down there. Okay, good. So we're going to do an about face, and we're going to come round and look over this way. Now, what would be good is if I could get somebody on that mortar gun. gives us more range. Take some shots. Do some nasty hits. steer through these as best I can. Nothing else. I, I want to take hits on more than just one location. I don't want them to be able to bombard us over and over and over again at the same direction. Right. down to one third speed. I don't think there's any more enemies on this island. We can theoretically buy rights. 
go away happy in the knowledge that no one has been injured and the boat is in relatively good condition. You can see some holes in the side of the ship there. But overall, we're pretty good. The engine is 160 degrees Fahrenheit and stable. So we could press backspace to leave the battle at any moment in time. And um, I think we're probably going to want to do that. One thing I do want to try and do, spacebar to come out of attack mode and just take one of these guys. He's a medic. The medic. Who's this guy? Try and put him on. Put him on mortars. Is it H? No. That's steering. G. There we go. So by, by by putting a guy on G on mortars, we should theoretically be able to use those mortars against the enemy. So I don't really know how to do the mortars yet. Down the bottom you'll notice we've got this bar that goes underneath some cards. And at the moment there's nothing on these cards, but we can um, sign those cards to have sort of uh, reinforcements. And then once we've got enough points, enough XP points, we can call those reinforcements in. Um, and also, you won't see it here, but if you watch my other video, uh, we've got these nets on the side here. If we ever find any men in the water, we can pull alongside and they can climb up and become part of the crew. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much uh, it for the first attack. Went pretty well. I'm going to press backspace to come out. And then I'm going to uh, head back over to Tualagi or Tulagi. Now you can see that that's a, a level 11 base. That's an enemy base at level 11. And over here we've got the raid results. We've damaged the enemy base by 16 points. So we've weakened them. So there must have been 27 when we arrived, I guess. So the raid has been recognised. News of your successful raid at Savo has reached our allies, Captain. Expect an assault soon. You can see this blue line from Hader or Hada. They are um, now sending a, a, a force to Savo to take the fall, uh, to take the base. Our forces have dispatched to uh, an assault force targeting Savo. If I click on Take Me There, it shows me where the island is. We're back at base, so I can go back into loadout. Hopefully I've got... No, I don't have any more budget. Okay, what are we going to need? We're going to need some more ammo. Enough for ammo. Bum! Let's open to uh, let's open to get some more ammo, but that's not going to happen. Right. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to keep our eyes peeled for our friendlies heading this way. Uh, my next target is going to be Malapa, and that's so that we link up all the islands that we have, all the ports that we have together thereby making us stronger. Now, I don't know exactly how this works, but you can see that some of these units have plus 18, plus 20, plus 44. I think these are points that are coming in. Um, and the more points we have, the more RP options we'll, we'll end up with. Um, up here in the top right is the level of error, if you will, how much effect, how likely the enemy are to attack us. Um, if I turn my radar on, we'll be able to detect our friendly forces coming through and we'll be able to join them. You can, of course, speed up time when this is happening. Day and night cycle. So, oh, something going on here. So, I think they've come under attack. I've seen this before. This is all dynamic, by the way, so this is not... Um, not going to be the same battle every single time but I think our attack force has come under attack which is very interesting I'm going to head down there and see if that's the case and maybe I can help out get involved and uh, enable them to get through So 
So, one Barnet class tender and five Elko 80s. Two motor torpedo boats. So, uh, I think that's the enemy and that's us. Let's engage. Let's try and be helpful. Let's try and support our units as best we can. Two enemy ships to me. Head over there and try and make their lives a misery. Need to be coming in my direction. Where the hell are our units? Oh, there's our boys there, look. Under attack from these two very. Uh, Jobbish little boys. Right, let's go flank speed, try and cut them off as quick as we can. I'm not sure if they are torpedo boats or not, but we don't want them getting too close to our friends. They get a bit of a pounding. Small patrol boats have been taken out. Theoretically, uh, they could have, you know, told enemy forces about our attack forces presence, thereby enabled um, aeroplane attacks and torpedoes and submarines to start moving on them. It's close, I almost smashed into this guy. Um, so I think we've been helpful there. We've helped the guys out. Massive searchlight going on there. Look. Doesn't look like we've got any other enemies. I think we're good. I think we've done our job. Again, no injuries to the men. The boat looks in reasonably good condition. Any serious damage Nothing to worry about. Looking pretty good. again. I sure if I have to do that every single time. Maybe I do. Right, there's an enemy base over here. I'm kind of half tempted to go and attack it. That's the moon. I don't know what that is. But we'll press backspace and uh, we'll head down here to Malapa. That's the next base I wanted to take out anyway. So there's our our force that's heading up to Savo to attack there. Um, I suspect we've only got a certain number of men or units available, so you know if we attack too many things at once, we're going to have problems. So you've got to be sort of logical about what you attack and when and how. So they've got five supply submarines, that could be a problem, and light base defensive. I've never gone up against submarines before. We don't have any depth charges, so we, this may be a hit and run maneuver. I'm a little concerned already. Got the mortars, buddy. A lot of enemy units. Looks like a lot of enemy units. Submarines, by the looks of things. These submarines right by us. Oh my god. They could be in serious trouble. I don't know. I don't even know how to detect that by submarines. According to this, they're right next to us. Most concerned. It's an enemy protected units on the shore. Watch one watch 
power down. I don't know what that is, but it sounds loud and big. ammo before anything else. Six units of ammo left. There's the last one. Now I can see some units on the other side of the island. More concerned about the submarines than anything. I think maybe we'll go around the other side of the island and uh, see if we can't attack them. But I, don't, I still don't know how to use the mortars, which is a little worrying. Never run aground yet, and I don't particularly want to, but I suspect it's not going to end well. Running aground is probably going to destroy your ship. So far, though, no, no injury to anyone. Good, that's what we want the captain to do. Bring everyone out injury three. So we can leave the raid at any time, it seems. I don't think you get locked in. Whether that's something that's going to change over time, I don't know. Go around the island here. Come around the back, try and take out some more of the defences. Once we've weakened them, uh, then then our sort of allies, if you will, will come and attack with a, a proper force. What I'd love to see is the ability to have um, multiplayer on this. A friend with a you know the same similar boat, using the same resources, etc. There's a little bit of a jutty out bit here. I'm wondering if there's like a bit of a sand thing that I'll be careful of. Excuse me. I see it. I can't really see it being so dark. Right, so we're going to come along the edge here. What we don't want is to be shot at by multiple enemies at the same time. I'll drop down to. Intel tells us that there's only one unit over here, whether that's accurate or not, I don't know. I don't see it at the moment. <coughs> ah, I see it. Just a watchtower by the looks of things. Close to the shore. Is. Put a flare up, obviously, to alert his teammates and compatriots, comrades in arms. An enemy ship in, the, in their midst. I'm not seeing is the next unit to be better hidden. Oh, it's like he saw us before we saw him. Bit of damage, bit of damage, bit of injury. Some of the men took some, some hits there. Medic is on it nice and quick. The engineers are going to come around, start doing some repairs on the side of the ship there. Wherever you see the hammer, that's where there's a bit of damage. This gun's taking a bit of damage. You see the engineers on it trying to repair that damage. Right, so so far. We've been quite successful in this raid. Small amount of damage. Huge amounts of uh, attack on the enemy. Did some repairs on the front of the ship. Everything back to ship shape condition. Having a bit of a glitch out there. Don't know what the hell's going on with that. 
Hopefully he's absolutely fine. Right, more enemies coming up. Now what I'm worried about, of course, are the submarines. I don't know where they are. I don't know how to detect them. And I don't know how to kill them if they're under the water. And there's no way of, uh, we can do anything to them, I don't think. I don't know how to use the mortars. So we're going to try and do a hit and run here as best we can without setting the engine on fire. 160 degrees stable, you can see in the bottom right hand corner. That looks like there's quite some big guns over here. So this could be terrible news for us. Real slow. Get ready to run like cow. Damage there. I think we're out. Are we out of? Uh... No, we've still got some repair units. We'll still do a bit of repairing. But you can get depth charges on the back of the boats, which is cool. I, it's so much. I've yet to experience, but I'm short on time at the moment, so there's not too much I can do in terms of devoting time to it. It's a bit of a shame. I can see our first enemy units there, a watchtower, a machine gunner. I'm not to get too close to the edge. rounds of ammo left. Right, that's it. There's no more we could do. Submarines are what looks like right under us, but obviously I've got nothing to hit them with. We're just going to run away instead. At flank speed, hopefully that's enough to evade their there's one, there's one, do you see it underneath? That's the first submarine I've seen. That's kind of exciting. If we had depth charges now, we could absolutely annihilate them. Sadly, we don't. Anyway, the boat's getting too hot. I need to come off uh, flank speed. We need to press. Can't escape. Ah, okay, so at the moment we cannot escape. Because we're doing a base raid. So maybe I just need to get further away from these submarines. Hope that they don't start sending uh, I mean if they surface we could shoot them. Maybe I just need to get further away from their position. This guy appears to be having a right nightmare. Can I move you? The first time I've seen anyone sort of get stuck. Uh, okay, so he's going to come and repair the sides of the ship. Ah, oh, that's cool. So he did, he totally glitched out there for a second. Either his head got stuck on this bit of wire or something, I don't know. But you can see he's repairing the boat as he goes around. He is getting stuck and confused again. Right, so the ability to press backspace to leave has returned. Right, so we've taken Malapa. Raid has, ne has been recognised. We've knocked them down by 20 points. Good stuff. So they're screaming out. You can see we've got level 3 now. They're screaming out for help. They're like, help us! Help us, please! Our forces have dispatched an assault force. Targeting Malapa. 
So they're coming from Tulagi, which makes very little sense. If Tulagi had enough men to attack Malapa, they should have sent them to Savo, that's my opinion. But um, our guys are going to go to Savo and hopefully take over that base, and then Malapa as well. Turn the old radar around. Oh, I see enemy units, look. Enemy units. Let's try and intercept them. So they probably know about our location now, because I've just hit the transmit button. Turn the radar off. So they don't know exactly where we are, but they know we're coming. Now this is probably going to be a supply ship or something. Let's engage. Two supply submarines. Ah, oh, no! Sadly, I can't touch them. Fuel's okay, but our free budget is very poor. Don't have any targets. Uh, the stats at the moment, victory points, we are currently losing the battle, 4.6. So we have to take more of these locations in order to uh, win the battle, so to speak. But um, I need to come in here and I need to get some depth charges, I would think. We should be attacking up here fairly soon, I would think. Right, so um, with the call-ins, you can... Looks like we've got some already. We've got Wildcats, 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 Dauntless, Bomber and Artillery. So we do have some stuff here that we can call in. Not entirely sure in that case then how that happens. But every time you go to uh, a friendly base, you will um, get refueled. So that's that's what we've done at least. Now you can't chain routes together, which is perhaps a bit of a shame. I'm going to head up to Savo. The old radar on. Let's see if they want to kill us, but they can't. We've already done them lots of damage. Oh, target has been spotted. Prioritize this one. But that is miles away. There's no way I can attack that. Okay, so it looks like Malapo are in a fight right now. They both are. So if I go to Malapo, I can assist my team. See that they're fighting there, and I can assist them with the taking of Malapo, and this will be the first piece we take. So they've got light base defences, two coastal tankers, and four motor speedboats. And you'll see that we've got some bigger ships with some much bigger weapons than what we've got. You see those shots coming in? See our team there? We've got some boats with some much bigger weapons. So he's trying to hit us now with his big guns, but our team is trying to hit him with their big guns, and I'm just trying to stay out of the way, basically. Don't want to be getting... Oh, that was a nasty whack on the nose. A nasty whack on the side. We're definitely taking too much damage here. Some of the men, I think, have been killed or injured or knocked off the boat. I'm not sure what's gone on there. So that ship is down. I believe there are resources there now. So if we head in, we can take advantage of that. I think we've lost a couple of guys. We lost a couple of guys there, which has never happened to me before. I've never lost guys right off the fight. RP. What's RP then? Not really sure. Repair points? We 
don't have to actually haul them in. Again, maybe that's a bit of a shame. I would like to be able to do that. Just pick them up by sailing near them. Yeah, these are repair points for sure. We should be able to get our ship up to uh, ship, ship shape condition. But you can see we've lost both our medics. Both our medics are dead and gone. Um, now I don't see them in the water. Maybe that's a guy there. Never seen anyone die instantly before. Is that guy there? Hey! Here he comes. Let's see, we've got inertia. These two of our guys? Yeah, baby! So they got knocked off the ship, but I was able to uh, find them and recover them. I've never seen that before. That's the first time that's happened. Oh, this guy's stuck again. Sign him to the mortar boat. Right. So I do believe that we've taken this island. And this is now ours. The two medics are back on the ship. Hopefully the medics can heal the medics. That would be cool. Looks like that's what's happening. Yeah, one medic's healing the other medic. And then they'll switch around and then the other medic will heal that medic. It's always a good idea to have two medics on the boat. That's my advice. Let's go take a look at our big boy ship over here before we leave. So this is our island now, we own this. Um, and we'll get resource points and victory points off the back of owning that. You see that guy there is just smashed into the... So the AI... <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> the AI may be not the sharpest tool in the book. They're smashing into each other, they're doing all sorts of damage. Uh, but this is what one of the big ships looks like. You can call these in to sort of support you when you're having a fight. I don't know if you can see his guns on there. There's one set of guns. Set of guns there. You compare those big cannons to our uh, little machine guns and you understand why going up against a ship of that size is so dangerous. We can get torpedoes, which are cool. Um, obviously, you might be able to take out a big nasty enemy ship. You had some torpedoes smashing into each other it's quite funny but yeah okay let's let's go back and you should see that this red malapa has become oh there's still base defenses okay we haven't taken it yet there's still enemy here somewhere there are base defenses on the island that we haven't cleared be honest, I haven't seen them. Maybe they're around the other side. Do a little tour of the island. Because obviously the AI are just going to smash into the ground again, as like they did last time. They're not all that smart. into us as well if I don't move out of the way. Holy cow. Ah. There's an enemy something there. there boys I can't even see it oh there's a watchtower yeah attack it something else over there as well that's down something a bit further inland and because I don't know how to use the mortars company they're saying so I'm gonna have to go around the island to get to him but um, 
If I could figure out how to use the mortar. If I can figure out how to use the mortar. Yeah. I can't, can't get to the controls and options and stuff yet. Instead, I'm going to have to go around the island and shoot this guy with my cannons. Big flank speed in there. But, yeah, everybody's still on board, amazingly. Everyone's still fit and healthy. I haven't lost any men. Literally, we nearly did, but... All good. Five rounds of ammo, nine rounds of uh, repairs, and two rounds of medical kit. So, as long as nobody gets injured. Oh! We have attacks from above. can do some serious damage to our ship. We want to be hot on these boys. One down. No, they both escaped us. The other one gone. Oh, one down right next to us, look. Pretty sure he's dead. Again. <laughs> that was pretty close. Now I don't know what would have happened if he'd have hit the boat. I suspect not good things, but uh, we kind of got away with that. So that was cool. I'm glad I got to show you that. Go at flank speed again. Come round and try and uh, dislodge the last enemy unit. Which I believe to be here. There must be a shallow or something sticking out there. Where is this enemy unit? where he is I just don't think I can hit him how do I hit him I wish I knew how to use um, mortars because I think this is going to be a mortar job Let's see him It was a mortar. The mortar guy was firing. Oh, brilliant. Right, that's it. I think we've cleared the area. For some reason, we can't um, escape the uh, assault yet. Maybe there's some planes in the air. I don't know. There we go. Back space. So that should now... Apparently, there's still... There's still somebody there. White base defences. Where? Now, I'll be honest with you, I did this a couple of times last night, and uh, pretty straightforward. I mean, we came in, we took out the enemy units, we didn't have any planes or submarines or anything. Maybe there's some subs here that I don't know about. It's saying land-based protection, but I don't see any. Oh, there's something there again. It's maybe a bug, I don't know. 
we'll go in, we'll take it out and hopefully that will clear the area. done. So that must be it. That must be the last one. So I've gone around and taken the guy out on the other side already. That must be it now, surely. Yay, they're at zero. It's crazy. I didn't have all this trouble last time I attacked the base, to be honest with you. Maybe it's just a bit of time. Let's go up to Savo and see how they're doing. There we go, we've now got Malapa. Oh! We've got any enemy units attacked us. Oh crap. We've got problems. It looks like they're on their way to attack the base that we've just taken. Or defend the base. Try and take it back or something along those lines. Now, this many boats could do us some serious damage, so we've got to be real careful. never been attacked by this many aeroplanes before. Kind of scary. Fly around so fast. They could do so much damage. Yes, we got one. As soon as you get one, there's another one attacking you. I'm running out of ammo as well. God, you're giving us a real hard time. Um, drop them boys, drop them. Jesus, just so many of them. taking some damage. Look, they're really zoning in on us. They're really giving us a real thumping. No, the engine's the engine's gone. We're in big trouble boys. We're gonna sink, we're gonna die. Ah, oh, I couldn't get away. I just couldn't get away. We have sunk hit backspace to leave there were just so many planes there there was nothing i could do about that really but i think that's a great way to end this i mean we've seen submarines we've seen some big boats albeit our own um just know that there are big enemy defenses big boats that are going to come up against and then you know just randomly sailing from one island to the next island we get attacked by a bunch of uh, uh, airplanes and we're totally screwed there was just so many aeroplanes. It looked like we were doing quite a good job at the beginning, but all of a sudden they put a hole in the back of the boat, attack us three at a time. We're going down. We are going down. Maybe I should have just run. Maybe that's what I'll do next time. But uh, yeah, hopefully that really showcases how cool this game is and gives you a good idea of, of what to expect 
Um, every time you lose a ship, you can, of course, can get another one. And they're, they are different boats with different abilities. This one has slightly stronger defense capability. And um, then a few different combos that you can have. This one makes it look like a, a badass shark or something. It's really quite cool. But yeah, um, just a brilliant game. Typical microprose game. Really fun, really easy to pick up, really easy to learn. Has loads of depth, loads of quality, loads of content. I think it's great. That's my opinion. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye for now.